Hey guys, Dr. Segal, Euro Coach. So the question is, my mom told me that if I held on to urine, this is bad for my bladder. Is this true? What do you think? Hey guys, Dr. Segal, Euro Coach. So I'm partnering with Medtronic because this is Bladder Health Awareness Month and we're gonna to talk to you about some tips to keep your bladder healthy. So the first question that we got was, my mom told me that if I held on to urine, this is bad for my bladder. Is this true or not? I'm gonna tell you three studies that illustrate my point as to why holding on to urine in your bladder is a bad thing. So the first is from the Journal of Urology, and there were two groups of women that they studied. One were chronic retainers, individuals that held on to urine and the second group emptied their bladder on a regular basis and they compared their incidence or their chance of getting urinary tract infection. They found where the women that held on to their urine had a two to three increased chance of urinary tract infection compared to the women that don't. And the question is, why did this happen? So if you think about women, their urethra is obviously shorter than men. So bacteria is more likely to reflux or go into the urinary tract, whereas men, it's not. So for women, it's super important to empty your bladder because if bacteria end up in your bladder, there's two principles of therapy for any urinary tract infection. One is evacuation and the second is antibiotics. If you're not evacuating the urine from your bladder, you're more likely to get urinary tract infections. The second study I wanna go over is also from the Journal of Urology and they took animals and they found chronic retainers. So animals that were holding on to more urine in their bladder. And they found that these animals had a 30% decreased contractility or squeeze of their bladder compared to animals that emptied their bladder on a regular basis. And this corresponded to over time, a decreased ability to empty their bladder at all. Now, why is this? Why does this happen? So I always use this analogy. Your bladder is a muscle like any other muscle in the body, biceps, quadriceps, anything like that. And if the bladder is chronically stretched or what we call distended, then the bladder loses its ability to squeeze. If the bladder loses its function over time, it stretches and it can't recover that function back. And this sort of brings me to the third study, which is from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, all right? And what this looked at was individuals that were holding their bladder over time, did this affect their kidney function? So what they found is individuals that were chronic retainers or holding onto the urine over time had a higher incidence, about a 10% increase in kidney damage over time. And then people say, well, why is this the case? If your bladder's swollen, why does it affect your kidneys? And I always use the analogy as urologists, we're kind of like plumbers, right? So if your bladder is stretched, 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 stretched over time, that urine has to end up somewhere, right? So it will backflow up to your kidneys. Your kidneys have these tubes that drain urine into the bladder, they're called ureters. And if your bladder is stretched too much over time, then the urine will backflow up these ureters into the kidneys and cause kidney damage. So that's another super important reason why you need to make sure you're emptying your bladder on a regular basis. So anyway, this is the first of a two-part series. I hope that explains why you should be emptying your bladder on a regular basis. Remember, one out of six individuals have bladder issues and sometimes they're reluctant to bring them up with their healthcare provider. Please bring it up. It is a very common condition, okay? If lifestyle modifications or medications aren't working for you, advanced therapies like Interstim may work for you. A website like talkleaks.com has some good information on it too. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, subscribe, comment. We wanna hear what you guys want us to talk about. Thanks.